Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyla if you're new here and I make videos all about self-development and doing what it takes to create your dream life. So today I am very excited to film this video because I am finally filming my apartment tour in Paris. So first of all, I'm very sorry um, for not filming again for a long time. I posted a video a few months ago when I first moved here, but honestly, I've been so inconsistent with posting videos lately. And for that, I apologize. I'm really going to try to make it very consistent again because it is something that I am passionate about and I love, absolutely love sharing my life here in Paris as well. So let me know if you have any video suggestions down below because I am happy to uh, talk with you about what you want to see going forward. But right now I'm so excited to be filming this video about my apartment tour. Um, in Paris. Right now, um, I'm doing my master's out of school in central Paris, and I live in the 8th arrondissement, and I overall love living here. I'm really close to the Champs-Élysées and the Seine and like all these amazing, beautiful things in Paris, the Eiffel Tower as well. So I absolutely adore this apartment. I love this location and I can't wait to take you along with me. So stay tuned and I will show you my apartment. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have anyone filming me to do this apartment tour like I've seen a lot of YouTubers do, but I will just show you from my perspective so you can still see my apartment. Every I'll show you every room. It's really just a studio, but they put in a wall that makes it kind of a one bedroom so you will see okay so this is the view that you see when you first walk in my room um i have my coat rack here and of course my um, drying rack for when i do my laundry all this furniture came with the apartment so there's a few chairs this table that's like a coffee table but also a um kitchen table and then i also do a lot of work here do my zoom classes here because um yeah i'm doing a lot of class from a distance so when I do classes here, I often just like sit facing the couch, not on the couch, or sit with my back leaned up on the floor with my back against here because it's not the most comfortable otherwise. And yeah, don't want to give myself bad posture. <laughs> so um, then I have a little radiator. Here is this couch here. And it, it, again, it came with the apartment and it pulls out into a bed. So when I have guests, they can stay here. Um, yeah, this room is really nice. As I said, this used to be a studio, but they made it into a one bedroom by putting up this wall. And here is my kitchen. So I have a microwave, big refrigerator, and for pears, that's really nice. Um, there's my dishwasher and oven and sink, of course, as well as my espresso maker and cabinets up here and up here. And here is a closet that all my cleaning supplies are kept in. Um, I share it with my next door neighbor, so I don't really go in there very often, but there's cleaning supplies, the vacuum, things like that. And I keep some of my shoes, my running shoes, and the shoes that I wear often right by the door, as well as my coat, my purse, and my mask, of course. Um, and here is my front door as well. which is nice. I also have a air conditioning unit. It is very small, but still for pairs, I feel very lucky to have that. Okay, so now I will lead us into the bedroom. So here is the bedroom. It The bed literally takes up like the entire room, but that's okay. I'm happy to have a big bed at least. Um, I also have this beautiful, nice window, and it was sunny earlier, but it's a little bit cloudy now. Um, and my dresser, so I keep my clothes in here and in here, and I know it actually doesn't look like a lot of space, but I've been able to fit all my clothes in there, which is nice. 
Um, yeah, and so the bed is big. As I said, it takes up literally the whole room. Here you can kind of see. Like, I definitely hit my legs on this bed all the time. Um, and yeah, but it's nice. Um, I put my chair here. I use it as like a little night table. And yeah, here is the window. I have my sage outside right now because I was saging earlier and I didn't want smoke to get in the apartment. So my bowl of sage, but also the apartment window is really nice. I face the courtyard, so I don't really have a view, but it is still really nice and lets in a lot of natural light. The window is seriously huge. It takes up the whole wall, so I do love that. And here is a little cubby compartment. Um, it's just for storage. So I put all my journals. I've brought every single one of my journals in to or to Paris um, from my childhood home in Nebraska. And I'm just really happy to have them here with me so I can go back and read through old things. And I love to write. So yeah. And then I keep my suitcases here. I've kind of piled them together because, um, yeah, I had like four, but I kind of stacked them. There were pictures um, that were hanging up in my apartment when I arrived, but I didn't like them. So they're just being stored right here right now. And I have my Polaroid camera and a backpack. And yeah, so again, I have my, um, my, journals here and then here I have my books and my jewelry and my tarot and oracle cards as well as this cute bear. Um, my aunt made this bear from my grandpa's old shirts and so I brought that with me, brought a little piece of home with me and my diploma and medal of course. <laughs> then I store some extra towels up here. And then I have uh, my wall of family photos and quotes. I have vision boards that, uh, my old vision boards here too, but I haven't hung them up since there's not a lot of space. But I do have my pictures here and some quotes that I really, really like. So here is my laundry. I <laughs> keep it like in this little corner. I mean, not too neat, but... This is the reality, you know, living in an apartment in a city. And luckily I have an in-unit washer, so that is really nice as well. My bathroom in general is really nice and big. So here is my shower. Um, I keep the drain out because my shower often fills with water because that's just how a lot of France pipes are. But it's okay. The shower overall is really nice and big. Um, here is my towel drying rack um, and my robe there, of course, and the toilet and my favorite part is the nice mirror um big like vanity area okay so here is the vanity of my bathroom so they have this nice mirror and light which is really nice and then i just have an extra smaller mirror for doing my makeup um, my makeup is here not too organized but it's reality um, and my skincare and a nice sink. And yeah, um, here again is my washer and some storage. And so overall, it is a very nice bathroom. And I really, really feel lucky to have a bathroom like this in Paris. So I'll just walk back through and give you the other view of coming into my living room from this way. So here's my kitchen again. Really like this tile as a backdrop as well. My kitchen, my front door, the couch and chairs, as well as my coat rack storage, more storage there, and drying rack. And then, yeah. And again, 
my shoes. I just wanted to talk a little bit about stats for this apartment. So as I said, I live in the 8th arrondissement near the Champs-Élysées and it is a great location. I love living here. It's close to um, the Seine, the Eiffel Tower, Jardin de Tuileries, the Louvre, like a lot of really beautiful places in Paris. So I feel very happy to live here. I'll talk a little bit about the price as well. I pay about 1300 to 1400 euros a month um, depending on utilities but it is very nice it includes wi-fi and i overall think that it is worth the price <laughs> um it's expensive to live in paris but this is a pretty good price for what i'm getting i think i'm going to be here until at least next january and then i'll consider maybe moving to a different apartment depending on what job i'll be doing next year so yeah there's a lots of beautiful places in paris but for now i am so so blessed and happy and grateful to live where i am so thank you all so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day and please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you haven't already and please leave a comment of what kind of videos you would like to see in the future because I'm happy to do more Paris themed videos as well. Thank you all so much and I hope you have a fantastic day. Don't forget that you have the power to create your dream life. Thank you. Bye.